This is Mitchell Lane. He just solved a Rubik's Cube in 6.25 seconds, which is a pretty good time for today's standards. So why do you react like this? It's actually a pretty funny story that's extremely unfortunate for him. Mitchell Lane is an American competitor who's been competing since around 2010, which is around the same time Felix Zemdig started. He delegates a lot of competitions and is pretty known in the community. He's been to 116 competitions and done over 6,000 solves, which is some of the most competitions out of anyone. So why was this solve so significant? So to understand this, we have to go back to 2013, when the world record was only five and a half seconds. So basically any sub 10 single is still pretty good for this time. At the competition called Berkeley Summer, Mitchell Lane gets this solve. <laughs> And what was that time? 6.25 seconds. His personal record and an amazing fee for him, considering his last time was 9.4. And 10 years later, well, he's got a few sub 10 singles and quite a few seven second solves and eventually ends up getting a seven second average. But at this competition, he gets the exact same time. After 10 years, imagine how frustrating that would be. Finally get a PB and well, is it a PB if it's exactly the same? Technically, yes, because if the world record is beaten at the exact same time as the last one, then it's still the world record. It's not just considered the second best time because it is the best time. But this just goes to show how lucky scrambles can turn unlucky really fast. I just love this reaction. The whole crowd knows exactly what happened because he's held this record for so long. But anyway, big ups to Mitch Lane for this incredible soul and I hope he can beat it soon. It seems like in the last couple of years, he's actually been gradually improving. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.